Welcome to my Interior Design Kids Club. Over the next few weeks, I am going to share with you how to create a lovely bedroom design. And to do that, we are going to convert this box into a doll's house box bedroom. It's going to look absolutely gorgeous. So keep with me over the next few weeks. We're going to teach you lots of different skills and lots of loveliness with interior design. So watch out for that. So make sure you've got a box. If you haven't got a box, this is quite a big box. And the reason I'm using this big box is because it's easier for you to see what I'm doing. But for you in particular, you might want to get yourself something like this. So this is just an, an Amazon box and it's about the size inside of a, an A4 piece of paper. So something that size would be lovely for you. See if you can get yourself a box. If you can't get yourself a box, don't worry because we're all stuck inside and we're using things that we have in the home. So you may have cereal box. So you could use something like that instead. That works just as well. So find some kind of box over the next few weeks and we're going to make that into a lovely bedroom design. So welcome to that. It's going to be uh, absolutely gorgeous. So my name is Gwendolyn, in case you haven't met me before, and I'm a professional interior designer, author and speaker. And today we are actually going to create a concept board which looks something like this. So this is my concept board. Now it looks just like a piece of paper with loads of pictures to come. And that's effectively what it is. But what it represents is all of your lovely thoughts and ideas for your bedroom and it's a great place to start to get all those ideas in one place and then over the next few weeks we're going to use this concept board and these ideas to create a lovely bedroom design for you. So what do you need today? Well you need a piece of paper or a piece of card, any old piece of paper, it doesn't matter what it is, uh, a pair of scissors, uh, maybe something to stick with. Now, in the house, I would normally use Pritt stick, but I haven't got any. So we have to use what we've got in the house. So today I'm going to be using sellotape, but you could also use glue, you could use um, blue tack, anything like that. Cutting and sticking today, it's going to be lovely. Maybe some magazines if you have any, any of your favourite magazines that you have lying around the house to get some pictures from. But don't worry if you haven't got magazines, maybe you could find some pictures on the internet and print them off and cut them out. Um, I'm recommending that you do actually cut them out because it helps your brain to think about what you're doing and you can actually work out what you like and what you don't like. And it's just a bit easier when, it's, when it, you do it physically rather than doing it online. But if you prefer, create your concept board on Pinterest. So just to remind you, this is what my concept board looks like. Yay. So let me take you through the types of pictures that you need to be looking for for your concept board. First of all, in your bedroom, you need to think about how you want it to feel. How is this design going to feel at the end when it's finished and looking lovely? So you may think about, well, in a bedroom, I'm going to sleep, so I want it to be relaxing. That might be one of your words. Or you may want it to be fun and energizing. That could be one of your words. So I want you to think about just, you know, two or three words how you want your bedroom to feel. And then think about maybe how you want it to feel at night time and how you want it to feel in the daytime. Look, it's lovely and sunny out today. So maybe in the night time, 
you want it to feel soothing and calming to help you sleep. But then in the daytime, you want it to be energizing and invigorating and maybe feel spacious and give you that boost of happiness. So think about some of those words there, some words that will calm you down and then the other words that will, you know, lift you up, lift your spirits. Because a bedroom, particularly um, your bedroom, is has got two different activities. So you'll be sleeping in there, but also you might be working in there, doing your homework or playing. So two different types of energy we need. So think about your words. And then when you're looking through your magazines, you can look for pictures. Oh, look at that. Oh, that picture's nice, isn't it? Okay. So if you wanted something that was connected to nature, maybe you like these colors, because that's another important question to think about. What colors are you actually drawn to in your bedroom? What's your favorite color? What do you want it to be like? So I normally like pink, but the bedroom that I'm designing over the next few weeks is going to be for an 11 year old girl and she likes blue. So you'll see here from my inspiration, it's based on blue. So first of all, I started off with this lovely holiday picture. Oh, it'd be lovely to be there today, wouldn't it? On holiday, sat on the beach, playing in the sand, uh, swimming in the sea, oh, that would be lovely. And I love these colors. So that was my inspiration, something calming, relaxing, and looking at the colors of blue. And then I saw the picture of this man soup, soup, <laughs> soup. <laughs> not soup, but suit. <laughs> and I like the crispness of his suit, nothing too fussy. Um, and that's because that ties in with this picture down here. And that's really, Insta-worthy, isn't it? And that's how we want this bedroom to be, Insta-worthy. Love the clean lines, the crispness of it. Very simple, non-fussy. Um, other things I like in here are the plants. Obviously, at the moment, plants are really popular. Um, and this girl wants plants in her bedroom. And when you want it to be, um, to look lovely, to photograph it, you really need to think about the detail of the accessories so that you can change them around and get different looks, different pictures. Also, because you're spending so much time in your bedroom, you want it maybe to feel different so you can change everything around um, while still being practical for somewhere to you to sleep, somewhere for you to work and somewhere for you to play. Um, also, I like this. Oh, I don't know if you like this. <sighs> That's a bit odd, isn't it? It's a bit random, but I like the energy in that lampshade. It's a bit creative and in any bedroom, you need to think about, particularly your own bedroom, what's your personality? You know, it's great being like this and being Insta ready, ready for social media, looking, you know, what everybody else has, but you need to personalize it because it's your space and then that will help you feel comfortable and safe and secure and nurtured in your bedroom. So I want you today to have a look through your magazines, cut to them out, get your piece of paper, stick them on, and then you'll end up with something like this. So when you're evaluating the pictures that you've got, get them all together first before you stick them down. Because you may have like a picture like this. So this was another picture. I quite liked that. But when I put it on my, with the others, when I put it with the others, it's just too fussy, isn't it? It's just too much happening. So then I can go, no, I don't want that picture. So all the time you're having a look, compare the pictures together and then decide which ones you want to keep and which ones are actually going. Also, I like this mirror. Oh, it's got a really nice shape to it. But when I put that on my concept board, it just looks a bit too old fashioned, a bit too dated, isn't it? Whereas this here is quite modern, but this here is too dated, 
too traditional, too old fashioned. So that goes and this is what stays. So that's your exercise for today. Have a look for pictures, put them together. Think about, you know, how you want your bedroom to feel. In lifting, energizing, relaxing, calming, soothing, to give you a boost, invigorating, um, fun, energetic, all those different types of words. Maybe make a list of the words, find your pictures, stick them on a concept board, and that is the beginning of your design. So have fun creating your concept board today. And then we're going to use that over the next few weeks to create your lovely bedroom design. And I will see you next time on my interior design kids club. Have fun. <laughs>